Hey guys, how's it going? How we doing, guys? <sighs> okay. All right. How's it going, everybody? You're back. We're back on the Wednesday with Slick Entertainment, doing some great game dev stuff. Thanks for showing up. All right, looks like looks like we're running. Let me know if the music's too loud or weird in the chat. I'm gonna try to keep. I really hard to keep track of the chat today, but might get a little bit crazy. Let's warm up, guys. Let's warm up. Flex those heart muscles. <clears throat> Alright. Cool. Alright, we're going to do some more sketches. Today, we're going to be doing some awesome environment stuff for the snow claw. It's going to be good. We're working on some uh, background stuff. It's going to be great. All right, now let's warm up. Warm up. Since we've worked on some uh, snow claws, let's uh, maybe some snow claw stuff. I like drawing those guys. Nice big pen. Yeah, congrats! Look at all these people wrapping up finals. Awesome. I remember the last time I did a final. Jesus. All right, let's just warm up here. Kind of helps, I find, to work smaller so you can get. Bigger pen stuff happening. Let's see. If anyone saw recently posted a picture of a snow claw? See if we can get it out here. Let's see if we can get it out here. Oh, there's a Draugr. Let's get that guy and let's get this guy. Boom, boom. Not so pro. How's it going? You made it here too. Check that out. There we got some reference for our snow claws. There he is, look at him. That fish on his back. So majestic. How's it going, Dinky? How you doing? Not much is going on. We are today we're gonna be having some fun. We're gonna be doing some cool, cool, cool stuff. We're doing some environment stuff for our friend the snow claw. And I'm gonna draw some snow claw for the warm up. Get this thing going on. The part about the snow claw is this mechanic is this thing we gotta figure it out. It's like they wear fish on their backs. And see, look, my favorite, this is why I like it, guys. I'm going to tell you why. And it's because this face can be mean and this face can be funny. Right. Right. That's what's going on. Missing the last two streams. Not so pro. We forgive you. We forgive you here. Don't you worry about it, man. It is all good. All good. Well, a little bit lonelier today because uh, Nick's out in Cuba. So everybody, hope, hopefully, Nick's having a great time out there. Much love from everybody here in Vancouver and across the stream. Thanks everybody for showing up and doing the stream thing with us. We really appreciate it. Right, let's see here, one second here, just sort of figuring stuff out. Okay, there we go. I think I did it. Cool. Go here, here. Cool. There we go. Just had a question for you, dude. Oh, I've been using the same dating technique. I think I did it. Okay. One second. Sorry. Just had a question for you, dude. I've been using the same shading technique you used for the fast sketches for years. I've been curious about your edge booster layer. What exactly are you doing there? And what are you trying to achieve with it? Well, the inky. What I'm doing with that layer, um, I believe what you're talking about is this layer. So when I draw something, I'm going to draw something really quick here. It's going to be a little dude, because I like drawing dudes. A little, little dude here. It's going to be like, Rrr. this skrr. So when I draw stuff, um, uh, I use I basically rely on my lines like crazy, which is bad if you're a painter. Don't do this. But if you kind of want to kind of draw, draw like a comic book style, cartoony style. Okay, I don't know what this guy is, but look at my beak. There we go. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's say we're drawing this 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 beak guy. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Basically, um, if you notice, my my lines are pretty thick, right? Sorry about that. Because my lines are pretty thick, um, and I want to keep that that look. So when I fill them in like this, boom, 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 make them orange. Orange is a good color. So what I'm doing here is um, I increase it by about four pixels, and the layer I put underneath my flat, boom. 
So basically what I'm trying to achieve is just make it punchier. If you actually look in here, um, it's sorry about the scan lines, it's kind of a weird thing I'm doing. Um, this this here, this line here, it's beefed up with, with what I just did with our uh, little Beekman guy. So basically just punches it just pumps up the uh it just pumps up the lines a little bit. Kinda like it. Kinda like big thick black lines, I'm a big fan. So yeah, that's what's going on. So yeah, as we color in the beak guy. Take no shit hawk. Woof. How's it going everybody? Look at this. Lemme you can be made it too. Awesome. So yeah, that's basically what I do with that that layer. We'll we'll put this guy over here. He can hang out over there. And now let's get back to this action. We're gonna do some uh, just to warm up, guys. Just warm up. We're gonna do some environments today. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be really cool. Pumped up the lines. How's it going, Rob? There's Rob. There's EP Gaming. Alex, how's it going, man? You made it here too. Great, great. Good, good, good. Hearing from you, Gord. Right, Gord didn't make it. Gord is there. There we go. <laughs> how's it going, buddy? Awesome, awesome. And Rob Lundy made it, everybody. Rob Lundy, of course, out of Ottawa. Molten Inc. The very, the very own. Teacher, t teacher of artists, tons of good skills. If you guys have questions about artists, and we got some people doing their art fi finals in here, Rob, which is great. Please follow Molten Ink. Molten, Ink. Molten Ink's always been open, taught me a bunch of stuff. Great guy, great guy. And so now we're going to be doing some rough snow claw work. I find drawing the snow claws and stuff, and let's see here. Drawing the draugers and stuff, I really get new ideas. New, new, new ideas come to me. While we do these rough sketches, which is pretty cool. Last two streams, uh, I think I think Nick put them up. They're not so pro. You can look at the title. I honestly don't really forget. Or I honestly don't really remember. I think. Oh, we did a boss last time. I think we did. A, yeah, we did like a cool slime stone boss. It's pretty cool. Let's do like a running action shot. Mm. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. Hey, okay. he's carrying a big keg of fish beer. Love it. Yes, you should. You should totally follow him. That's Molten Link, everybody. Rob Lundy. Very, he's working on some very cool stuff. You're actually seeing an artist change his style and get it. Like, experiment, which is cool. Like, you're going to see the same crap out of me every time you come here. But if you go see Rob, you're going to see some, like, actual evolution. Rob Lundy, everybody. Molten Link. Thanks a lot. Julius, yes. How's it going? You made it here, too. Oh, there's Julius. Man, all these great artists showing up in the stream today. Love it. It's powering me up. I can feel it. I can feel it, guys. Cool. How's it going? How's it going? Fast Matty, Samurai, you're back. I remember you. How's it going, man? Now you see the boss. Not so pro. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do that. Let's let's do it, guys. Check it out. It's like he's like he's he's in the works. Okay. So go easy on me. But we're gonna we're gonna check out the boss a bit. There's no sound. The animation is like clunky. So don't 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 don't, don't like hammer me. Okay. So but here we go. Let's 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 see how it goes. Let's bring the old child. Na, na, na. I'll open. Open. Just just for you guys, you know. Like n nobody else. Nobody else. Oh here we go. Yeah, zoom it in. Up. Oh, it's just a blob. Look at that. <laughs> That's not right. Come on, Jess. Yeah, let's see. Here we go. Oof, there we go. Cool. Let's uh, hide these let's hide these bones. There we go. I don't know if you guys remember this. But here we go. Here's a slimestone boss. How's it going? How's it going, Slimestone boss? Pretty good, not bad. Let's take a saunter. Let's roll. Let's take a stroll. Look at that. Here we go. Um, so yeah, we got the Slimestone boss. We have him, like, smashing stuff. We have him, like, doing some power-up attacks. Smashing the ground. Uh, jumping. Jumping. Hanging out. Yeah, I had a lot of fun drawing this guy. We, we, we drew him last week, so yeah. He's gonna be great. He's sauntering. Look at that. Yeah, he's got he's got such a swagger. I love it. And he's just changing lanes. Yeah, he does. That's right, Sorty. That's right. Cool, Dan Mac. How's it going, buddy? Seattle. Like way different. Why way different? But he's he's coming together, right, guys? Like you're feeling it. It's all right. Yeah, I know. Of course, I worked on him a little bit harder. In fact, the produce, Chris, Chris, Arthur, Chris. Keep mixing you guys up, even though you both have totally different names. Anyways, that's what we got going on, guys. So this is the boss. This is one of the bosses we made last week. Smash, smash. Then it's gonna be great sounds. He's gonna be dripping. And if you look at these these whoops, sorry. If you look at these um things here, I'm kinda highlighting. Those are gonna be like on physics, so they'll be flopping around. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, he's sleepy now. Okay, see you later. 
Didn't want to tire you out. Yes, that's what we had. That's what we worked on last week. How how cool was that? Hosted me through Zeke. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Julia. Awesome. Anybody that's following Zeke, welcome. Welcome to the stream. This is Viking Squad. We work on a lot of fun stuff every Wednesday. I'm keeping my art up there. And today we're working on some cool stuff for the interior. We want to make an interior, and that meaning Digi are very excited about that because it's going to be very, very cool. Let me just... You remember our names, though. Ha, ha, ha. Now, of course, of course we do. Aren't you guys buying all of our t-shirts? We, we, we got to remember your names. Now, as I have this, like, keg, keg runner. Ooh, I like that. Keg runner. Keg runner. Got going on here. Um, what's cool is with this, this picture here, this is actually how we got, this is kind of, I kind of fluked out, like I usually do with art, but this is how we got, like, the shape of everything in our game. Kind of has big forearms, big forearms, and they all skip leg day. Not like our buddy, Alex Thompson, who does every, everything every day. Hey, Arachnus, you made it too? How's it going, Arachnus? Arachnus, pal. My pal from Jersey. Big. Twitch community person, I guess. How's it going, Arachnus? Very, very good hearing from you, Jackie. Thanks so much for coming by the stream. While we draw, while we do our warm-up sketch of our Snowclaw friends. He's, he's going to be running a keg. It's great. Keg of fish beer. Never skip leg day. How's it going? Yeah, there you go. He <laughs> got the number right. Awesome. Hey, yo, Nika to Nika. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's my buddy. That's our good buddy, Scientist Mike. How's it going, Mike? Filipino Heat. Fellow streamer. The guy streams a lot. The guy plays a lot of games and the combat consultant. Good guy. Good guy. How's it going, Mike? Good hearing from you, buddy. Thanks for dropping by the stream, man. While well, we work on our cool warm-up. It's going to be a fun warm-up, guys. I guess we'll put the spigot. Because I love drawing spigots. And it'll be upside down. Because you don't want to spill out all the uh, delicious, delicious fish beer. Tell Chuck to play Punisher. Oh, like the beat 'em up Punisher. Yeah, I think I th I think Digi's on here, man. Digi Digi Domo. Chuck to play the Punisher. Loving the Punisher. Cool. I actually remember that one. It was you could be Punisher or Nick Fury. Actually, I actually remember that brawler in the old arcades where I, where I cut my teeth making games. Okay, you made it too. Regrow my beard. <laughs> we we've, we've Well, the beard just it's coming back. I'm growing it for 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 the stream and for everything else. So. We, we got a crazy pile of music in the mix, as well as our good friend Gord Sheldon the Pit. There he is, repping the stream hard. Fish beer is disgusting, Dan Mac. That's right. Look at it. Look at this stuff. They, you basically ferment fish, and it's green, and it's foamy, and it's slimy, and it's so gross. Yeah, so fish beer is disgusting, and it's definitely what these guys drink. Second. Just banging on my ear. Ooh. Pirate Bear? Oh, he could be a Pirate Bear, Lemmy. Lemmy, too. Favorite Speed Painter? XC Zach, how's it going, man? I'm not really a Speed Painter. I guess maybe a Speed Inker? I don't know. All right, guys, let's uh, let's let's put a little bit more heat on these lines. Let's do it. This 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 bird's looking all right. I think I got to color his eyes in, though. There we go. Way better. Put it there. Put him up. Put him up. Oh, he's good. And remember, guys, if you want your stuff to be taken seriously, Always put a ground shadow. There we go. Pre-order a copy of Vikings. <laughs> Kelp hops. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Ink hey, Inky, what's your what what's your real name? Have we met before? You seem very familiar. Let me know if we met before, Inky. I don't know everyone's Twitch names, but I I, I know a couple, but I don't know them all. All right, guys, we're gonna throw on some better lines here. Love drawing these. Uh, do they help the Vikings drink copious amounts of meat? Oh yes, they do. They, 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 they do, Chris. Yeah, okay, this is kind of like the snout I got. Which is kind of like wolfish, but not bad. It's cool. They're fun. They're fun to draw. Alright, let's work on these ears. The fastest ever. Yes, yes. And I did I did a dev blog today, guys. You can check out the dev blog at slickentertainment.com, I think. Yes, yes, go there. You can check out... Some art process stuff, if you guys are interested. Yeah, I met you at GDC. I believe you're a quick meeting. Wanted to hang out longer, but had to run, dude. Oh, cool. Awesome, awesome. What was your name again? Let me up. Let me know. Let me know, Inky. That's cool that we met at GDC. Love GDC. Sorry that I didn't get to hang out longer. GDC's a busy time for everybody, I guess. Very grabby. Gross. Didn't pay you an hour because you're too bad. <laughs> I actually don't. I, 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 I don't know. I still, 
I still go by the hour whenever I work up with, with, with. But I just charge them crazy. Charge them crazy amounts. Right. Awesome, awesome. So, yes, right now we're working with these guys, and they're the Snowclaw. They're these enemies, and they're going to be awesome. They're going to be really a lot of fun. Um, here's some of the things they do. They have tables. Yeah, that's exciting, right? Here's some of their hut designs. There we go. Hanging up the fish to dry. There's a symbol. They love fish. They're going to be throwing a fishtable. <laughs> There's a poster. Just in case you forgot that you're supposed to like fish as a Snowclaw. Some crates designs. Man, you guys are getting the full shebang here. Uh, what else we got? Oh, yeah, they build cool totems. They take, they like take bites out of fish traps. All oh, fish heads. There's sushi. There's their sushi. Got some spicy mayo. Fish beer. Yeah, so that's what we're working on today. After we get and lanterns, man, and logs. Cool. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing, guys. Jesse, the name is Josh. Cool. How's it going, Josh? Inky, I can remember that. I can remember that, Josh. Awesome. It was. I know it was great meeting you in GDC. I love GDC. Love San Francisco. Great times. Great. A pirate bear. Lemmy wants a pirate bear? Okay. Because you're lemmy. Uh, it's going to be quick, though. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay, first we, need, first we need the bear, obviously. There's the bear. Man, look at this. This bear's coming together, guys. It's feeling, I'm feeling good about this bear. Oh, but check it out. That was a pirate bear. Uh. Go. Good. And, okay, perfect. I think I nailed it, guys. Do -do. Do -do. Pirate Bear, just for me. You got it. You got it, man. He's mad. Mad, mad Pirate Bear. I guess Pirate Bears can have beards. Look at that. Jesse's bear game is unrivaled. That's right, Molten. Molten, you got <laughs> He looks kind of like a lion now with his beard, but that's okay. There we go. Pirate bear for Lemmy. Looking pretty cool. Alright, back to this warm-up. Let me down. This guy looks a little bit like he's late for something. Hey, Scrooge, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it, man. Yeah, this this, this is what took it over the edge, right? My my pirate bear. Awesome to hear. This is this is, this is is a game dev stream. We're uh, building games here, guys. And you guys are part of it, and that's so exciting. That's so great. Happy birthday, that's right, happy birthday to Kevin. Happy birthday to Kevin, OTDQ, that's right, everybody, OTDQs, it's his birthday today. Give him a big, give him, give him some mad love, give, give him some love to that Kevster. Did it, Did everyone see the uh, present I, I, I drew Kevin today? Pretty great, pretty great. See if I can have it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open it and just show it here in the, in the stream, because I'm so, I'm so happy that... There we go. Happy bur Happy birthday, Kevin. There's Kevin right there. Hey, thanks, Jess. Great job. Great job. Thank you. You know what? You're welcome, Kevin. Thanks so much for uh, being you. Happy birthday, buddy. Wheezy. Wheezy G69. Welcome to the squad. Welcome to the squad. Right from the Kevster. Thanks, Kev. Thanks, Kev. Let's back. Let's get back to some uh, some proper line work, guys. Got the got the rough down. The rough was fun, but now we can finish our keg runner. So let's uh, rock it down here. Anika, mad love. Right, mad love to the regs. Thanks a lot, buddy. R Kevin's been making some great, cool sounds for Viking Squad. It's been an absolute joy working with So, gets a cool drawing. That's right. Host from Zeke. Welcome all people from Zeke. Love Zeke. Ezekiel. Thank you very much, Julie. Julia CS, for that free host. Welcome, everybody here. If you like what you see, just give us a follow. We appreciate anyone following. Every Wednesday we do this for about two hours. Draw stuff for our game. It's a lot of fun. Everybody in the chat's amazing. Big, big, big fans. Big fans for sure. Let's get the spigot done. If you guys don't know how to draw a spigot, neither do I. It's plain to see, but it's okay. Gets the point across. I always said, I always said I'm like a crossbow. I get the point across whenever I'm drawing. But the joke's not very good, so I stopped using. It. All right, here we go. Got a bit of Danny Baronet, Mr. Danny Baronowski's Crypto Necrodentist soundtrack. Let's give another shout out today. Clay's Invisible Ink is out. I think it's today. Either way, the thing got a 10 out of 10 on Destructoid. Congrats, all you Claysters. All you Claysters. If we have some Claysters in the chat, well, congrats to them, but Invisible Ink is a very, very, very bitching game. Thank you so much for the release. You guys are cool. Fellow Vancouverians. Fellow Game Dev Vancouverians. All right, let's work on this pauldron. As you guys know, I use pauldrons to cover up, like, all my art. Oh, that's a badass pauldron, right? Look at that. That fish hanging out. Hey, internet, how's it going? 
Holy people, wow. What a, what, a, what a great pile of people end up in the chat. Thanks so much, everybody, for showing up and hanging out with uh, the game. With if you, want, if you want to hang out and check out a game being made by some great guys out of Vancouver, hang around, because this is Slick Entertainment. This is the, We're making Viking Squad. If anyone wants to check out, just hit vikingsquadgame.com or slickentertainment.com, and you can check out our dev blogs. And we do this every Wednesday. That's right. Your favorite lane-based brawler, brought to you by those wonderful people at... Uh, Entertainment. That is a rad pauldron. Thank you. Maybe, maybe I should just rip it off. Just rip off my own. This is not really ripping off if it's my own. I, I, I do kind of like it. It's, it's an interesting shape. So yeah, let's let let let's use it. All right. Again, doom, boom, big chop outs. Boom, boom, big spike. So many people in back to produce. That's right. That's right. We have a lot of people who've been a great host from Zeke. Dude, love Zeke. Zeke, great, great guy. I'm so passionate. Crazy about him. Good stuff. Good stuff. And thank you all for uh, hanging out with us for a while while we do some drawing. Do some drawing for Viking Squad. That's right, Viking Squad. I don't have my title image up because I'm. I thought it would be all ready today. But uh, are these my clay pals watching? Is that who's hosting? Um, no, I think we got a host from Zeke. Not we. I don't think we got a host from Clay to be honest. We should. We should talk to them about that. We like those guys. They're our friends. We should totally get hosts from them. All right, Pauldron looking good. Let's get the bicep down there, and let's get the big old forearm. Cause that's right here. This is this is how our guys look, right? They look good. Games look good, guys. Don't you worry. So proud of us when the game's out. You're like, yes, you know, you didn't let us down. We were there for the streams. We had a good job. We, we had a good time. Editing podcast is tough. Just released new Dark World DLC for Towerfall Ascension yesterday as well. Yes, that is correct. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Everyone, if anyone's a fan of the a very 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 tight friggin' game that is Towerfall, and they just released new DLC uh, art by the wonderful. Art Art guys out of Brazil, that's Studio Mini Boss, and built by, our, built by our wonderful friend Matt Makes Games. Everybody check out Towerfall Dark World. Ah, oh, new bosses, new new archers. So cool. So cool, guys. Powerful. Take some mix out of these, uh. And we'll go this. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, he reads chat and responds and still drops fat. Whoa. There's a check out the trailer. Check out the trailer. Dude, so screw it's ass. Do you both program and create art for the game? No, I don't. I just make the art for the game. Our coder currently is on a nice, well deserved vacation. He is out in Cuba right now, so everybody send your good vibes out to Nick Wanders, our coder. Um, our designer is in the chat though. He's a Digidomo. That's Digidomo. He's a Kaylee Charchuk. Our wonderful combat designer. Well, our whole designer. He's grips, he does everything. If you guys have any questions, just or we have a bunch of sound guys in there. What? So much cool stuff going on lately. That's right, Arachnus. That's right. That's totally right. Right, here we go. Man, he looks so worried. I'm kind of, I'm, I kind of feel bad for this guy. There we go. And uh, let's give him the old classic loincloth. Covered up a lot of stuff. Perfect. Oh, guys. Okay, good. This one's going to be good. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. All right. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, here we go. Well, your YouTube hack at EW. Nothing to say makes me go, what the fuck have you been talking about? What's going on, Jesse with chat? Oh, yuck. trying to open throwing your bodies. Uh, Nika, that, you know what? You know what? Mm, scientist Mike, that is a bitch because of networking. So, looking into it though. Looking into throwing bodies. But Chuck's been changing a whole lot of the stuff out of the combat and it's been feeling really, really cool. Caught myself playing it way too long today. Our own game, playing it way too long. How cool is that? All right. He lets mods host channels because he's awesome. That's you're damn right, Julia. And we really, really, really appreciate you stopping by. And, and Julia is a great artist as well, so be sure to follow her. She does a lot of great art, art support for streamers everywhere. Big thank you to Julia for that. You give me t tips too on how to make my smaller art look better because my smaller art looks like junk. <laughs> That's right. Uh, this is some claws down here. Sorry, I'm so close, but I keep zooming out. Okay, good. It's coming together. It's coming together. Let's get these final claws in. Let's get these final claws in. Okay, let's see. Down. Go down. And... Oh, hey, Kev. Good dress. Ha, oh, Kevin. Kevin's keeping me company. Uh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Racking my head on you guys work around those tools you have for the game. Pirate Bear's name is Bo. You got it. Okay. Got it. And this is so people, like, he's, he like went to a party and people always confuse him for his brothers. There we go. 
Good job. Good job, Lemmy, naming that bear that you made me draw. Lemmy, so demanding. Okay. So, so close. Oof. Love this track. Love this track. Let's crank it a little bit so I can hear it. This is Mr. Gordon McLattery, the Viking Squad track. And I love this track. Oh, pretty, pretty track. Remember always talking to Gord about the music and how I love how it sounds like it's so... It sounds like it's a challenge. And I love... I love it when... I love it when things sound challenging and feel challenging. There we go. There we go. Cool. If you know I'm racking my head... When you showed up, Pax and Boston, more fine-tuned. It is quite different, in fact, the produce. Like, you, you're, 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 you're like a veteran, so you'll like definitely know. Oops, sorry, I need to finish the hand here. And then we're going to throw some colors on this. We, we basically do like a warm-up sketch for about half an hour and talk and get set in. So that's what we're doing, guys. No. Mm -hmm. Uh, and if all else fails, put a metal plate on one. There we go. There we go. Boom, boom. Hey, check it out. That's cool. That's cool. There we go. Yeah, it'll work. It'll work. It'll work. Let me work. There. Yep. Yeah. All right. Grab some colors from here. Da-da-da. Oh, beef up these. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's throw some colors down. Actually, let's just beat these lines up. Grab a bigger pen. Bigger, fatter pen. Actually, I don't usually color these, so I'll, I'll, I'll just color it light blue, and then we'll then we'll shade it. And then we're going to jump onto some environment stuff, because it's going to be a lot of fun. Right? Let's see. We'll look at the Punisher to slow down. Okay, cool. Got a bit of the chat, of brawler brawler chat, in the uh, in the chat room. So I want to thank you guys so much because you guys have made the uh, game like dev streaming really, really, really exciting. Um, it's really, really fun having you all in the chat, and you're all so friendly and and cooperative and nice, and I really, really appreciate that here. So like, every Wednesday, yeah, every Wednesday drop in and fr and and drop us a follow if you want to uh, check it out and get notified. That's all we ask, you know. Just just become a follower. We might even clear. We're getting pretty close to 1K followers. I know it's not huge in the spectrum of things, but as a game developer doing game dev streams, it's uh. Pretty cool. It's pretty. We're, we're very excited. We've, we've been absolutely loving dev streaming, talking to all you. And plus, I'm here in the office by myself today because people are working offline. So please, don't please forgive me if I don't answer every question in the chat. But I do try to be good. Pretty good. Cool. Loving this. Not demanding just to see how good it would look. This is how, how does it look? <laughs> it's a pretty good pirate bear. I think Jesse nailed it. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Right. And as a uh so, so yeah, these are just uh, lines to kind of beef up my lines and make separation. I find it helps separate your eye. That's why I like big thick black lines so we know where stuff is. And that's why the, in the game the game has this kind of style, so the game's gonna be the game kinda has that. Alright, here we go. Let's put this on here, put this on here. Kirito 69XD, welcome to the squad. Thanks for making that hawk scream. That's Ragnarok. That's our mascot. He helps us out in the chat. He he announces with his hockey ver vocal cords. And Rally Red, welcome to the squad. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for coming by. For the follow, my friend. Excellent. Excellent. Gotta get more squadlings. Squadlings down. D down for the great Wednesday times. And the Mr. Scott Evans. The Mr. Scott Evans. Welcome to the squad, the Mr. Scott Evans. Thanks so much for uh, the follow. We really, really appreciate it here at Slick Entertainment. Every Wednesday, if you want the best possible place to check out a lane-based brawler built by three Vancouverians, came to the right spot. Came to the right spot. We've been having a bunch of people from the Zeke from the Zeke host. Thank you so much for the host again, Julia. We really appreciate it. If you guys are just joining us, this is Viking Squad. My name is Jesse. I go by Joust. The Drawbarian. Twitters are down here in the thing. You can follow those if you want. You can check out stuff. Uh... Power Up Audio, this handsome gentleman. Hey, Kevin. Hey, guys. Uh, so this is Kevin, and he works on the game as well. And it's his birthday, so big shout out for the Kevin. If anyone knows who Kevin is, Kevin's a great guy. Making the cool, cool sounds. He built this, he made these awesome sounds for our crab boss. We loving that. Loving the big the crab boss sounds. Yeah, and he streams a lot, too. Power Up guys are great. And we have a lot of them in the chat. We have Joey Goddard in the chat. Goddard in the chat. Shell the Pit. Our... Did you? Oh, damn. Trying to catch up, trying to catch up. Good, good. I, I think you're okay. Okay, guys, now we're just going to throw some shadows on this because this is going to be this is going to be done. This is going to be our warm-up. 
Went a little long, but that's fine. All right, this is how we do it, guys. You know what happens. You know what happens. Boom, 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 boom. We just cut out. We just cut out the light. We will cut the light out. I'm gonna do. I, I usually do like all the shading before I cut it out, but just to make the stream not so boring. Bam! There. We go. Cool. Cool. I've used that, guys. Hitman Hughes. That's correct, Hitman Hughes. We're getting a great, great stream host from our buddy Ezekiel from Julia. Thank you so much again, Julia. Love Zeke. Big fan of Zeke. Passionate. Yeah, you, you gotta appreciate that. I'll take guts over. Guts over a lot of stuff any day. I consider myself not the best artist. I consider myself pretty quick. And um, I'm cool with that, you know? I'm cool with not being the best. That's all right. Because I got to say, you guys, like, in the chat, you're making me feel the best. That's uh, that's pretty great. I won't let it go to my head, even though I know you guys are going to be proud of us when we're, when we're done Viking Squad. You are. You're going to be so happy. Cool. So here we go. Actually, I don't know if the blue's working, because now I want to just color it. But um, let's ground them down here. Juju. -ju -ju. Right. There you go. Not bad. Cool. Um, we can probably also just just to maybe make it a little bit more diverse. Birthday, Kevin. Oh yeah, looking forward to seeing that email, Vernal. Damn, that's right. Yeah, big grats. That's right. Vernal and Infected Produce are buddies we met in Boston at PAX East, and they were awesome. They were super patient, and they they hung out. They're great guys, and they're always in the stream, so they're cool. If you want to know what it's like to be uh, East Coast? And still hang with the West Coasters over here. I'm just using this to separate. Guys. You can just see, like, this leg is in the back. I find that. That's a little helpful. All right, cool. There we go. Man, we're getting some cool, uh, we're getting some cool roughs here. We got our Draugr from a couple weeks ago. What else we got? Huh? Up here. Yeah, here's another Snowclaw. Look at that Snowclaw. Rubber. What else would we make? Oh, this is my favorite. Oh, oh this guy's blocking. Yes. That's my favorite. Yeah, look at those shovel axes. Who's that? Oh, well, thank you very much, Julius. Yes, my style is super awesome. Wow, that's very, very nice of you to say. I appreciate that. I find um, it's it's risky, it's risky to go whole hog into just your style. You know what I mean? Because um, <laughs> for a while there, nobody wanted my style, and I was kind of scared all the time. But now it's cool because now we're making Viking Squad, and it's a game. And everything's gonna look like this. Because we said so, and that's what we're doing. Cool, so there's our warm-up. We had a good time. Keg Runner. Uh, let's just do one more thing. Because I got to say, the Snowclaw aren't the most intelligent guys, right? So they don't build very good. And they flail. Like, like their weapon here, if you look at their weapon, it's got like brass knuckles, and it's got like a sharp blade. Because they kind of, they're not very, they don't have a lot of finesse. They kind of just like scrap flail. Need is done. Of Obtain Dark World. Sorority, thank you so much. Look at that, Dark World. You won't be disappointed. Those guys do put a lot of love into that game. So thank you so much for picking that up, Sorority. Good call. That DLC. That Matt Makes Games DLC. Matt Thorson, again, very, very cool gentleman. Sumeth. Sumeth, welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for coming by here. Great, great. Another follower, another squadling, rocking out. Um, let's... That doesn't make sense, Jesse. There, perfect. Derp. No. Oops. There we go. <laughs> and we still have Bo the Bear, made by Lemmy. Hey, Lemmy. Okay, cool. Cool, so there we go. We got a, like, a nice little rough warm-up sketch. Loosen it up because we're working on Snowclaw stuff today, so let's get to it. Cool, so this is what we're going on. This is um stuff I picked out of the game. I just pulled out of it. Um, This is Snowclaw stuff. The way their houses kind of look like. Um, These are kind of earlier houses. This is kind of like the house we ended up with. Kind of like this. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Jesse, may never risk you to make your own style. Branding tactics, symbol like it. There are millions of people in this world. That's right, Inky. That's right, Inky. I'm usually kind of, I kind of beat myself up about my art, and I, I work with, I work alongside other artists who I respect so much, and they're so good. I'm just like, God damn it, why, why, why aren't I that good? But you're right. I should just, I should look on the bright side. Right, this is the only reference picture I got because me and Kaylee were talking earlier today about what the floor should be, and I'm thinking packed dirt because we have a lot of a lot of snow in our game. So what we got here, that we'll uh we'll keep Kevin around. We'll keep Kevin around. Spot well, white. Cool. So this is like a screenshot we did. I did. I put it together. 
Kind of the guy. Da -da 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 -da. Now, I'm gonna use this to kind of like rough in stuff. Great props, usual, Jesse. Thank you. Thank Kamoshi. Moshi. That's not. No, that's not. Is this Kamoshi. Mac? Mac? Is that you? Is that Mac Co? Kamoshi? Is that you? If it is, that's Mac Co. Let me know if it's Mac Co. It is Mac. How's it going, Mac? How's it going, Mac? And Mac, your game is. I want to say it's out. Is it out? Is it Star 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 Starbreaker? Star Starbreaker? Is that what's going on? I think I want to do some of this stuff. If it's Starbreak, let me know, and then I'll tell people to go check it out. Check it out. Good hearing from you, Mac. Mac is my buddy. Out in California. Very, very good artist. Starbreak. There you go. Open bait of Starbreak. You want to check out a really cool side-scrolling MMO-ish kind of game that's uh, full of action and classes and dr loot drops and stuff. And has one of a really, really great artist working on it, by the way. That's Mr. Mac. Mac Co. Check out Starbreak. There you go. That's the one. I love Time VDS School. Thanks for dropping by, Alex. You know, maybe you should get, like, a... Uh, you get put put the monitor on the, the 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 barbell right there. Yep. Oh well. Great, great here for me, Alex. If anyone doesn't know, Alex is who we based our trainer off of. Let's let's look, take a look. Oh no, my my cap. Okay, cool. If anyone doesn't know, but Alec Thompson is our buddy from Saskatchewan, and he is who we based our trainer off of. Uh, is this it? There's so many things in this game, guys. Oh my god. Okay, cool. There he is. Looking all buff. Let's see. Let's let let's let let's see him do a couple reps. Reps. There we go. There you go. That's the gag. This is Saskatchewan. All they have is wheat. So he got a weed out of his mouth. <laughs> have a good one, Alex. Thanks for dropping by, buddy. All right. Now let's see what we got going on here. Okay. So we were talking earlier, we think we're going to incorporate this. This is the area we're incorporating. It's like ground, uh, simple rocks at the base. We need a simple background, so... Because I never make simple backgrounds, and it always bites me in the ass. It's going to basically look like the simple rocks on the bottom, and then this plain brown, and then we're going to be able to mix it. Kimoshi, that is an in-house tool, my friend. In-house tool that Nick basically saw Spine, and was like, I can make that. And then he made it, and now we have Spine-ish. Spine-ish thing. It's not spine. It, it's it, it's it, it works in our own engine. Hold on. All right. So let's see here. Um, this is gonna be really really rough. So apologies, guys. But you're gonna see some like really kind of rough. It's gonna be good though. It's gonna be good though. Don't worry. You know. You know. You know. I wouldn't let you down. Right? Okay. Boom. Okay. So thinking. Again. Hop back here. Hmm. What do you think, Kev? Yeah? Alright. Okay, so I'm gonna start with just some ideas here. Rocks here. Come on. Okay, pause you. Borden Freeman. Nice HL2 ref. How's it going, buddy? Welcome to the squad. Thank you so much for the follow. Good to hear. You know, you know, you know we do. So guys, this is what I'm doing. And Man Machine 90. Welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for the follow, my friend. We really, really appreciate it. We really appreciate the follows. Love it. People want to be take more interest in game dev and be there while the game's being created. So when it comes out, you can be like, I Pet Venom. Pet Venom. Welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for the follow. Thanks for making Ragnus Ragnahawks real. Thanks so much. Oh, we're gonna have some we're gonna have some different music hopping on. This is my buddy MDK, Morgan David King. A chip toony dub steppy guy out of Vancouver. Who I've done a lot of work with, and I've never met him in real life. And we live in the same city. How dumb is that? Pet. Oh, you guys know each other? Awesome, awesome. Nice. Will there be breakable tables and things of nature? Possibly snow claws strewn about, drunk off fish beer. Well infected produce. Are you ever smart? You 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 know that's that's what we got going on. Probably what it'll end up. So this is kind of helpful, I think, because we can kind of see... This is like a screen taken from the game. Like Honestly, if we take this, put it up here, this is like just a blown up screen of the game. Here's my fire. Here's my hatchet dude. Geared out in the Kraken armor, as you can blurrily see. Finally catch a stream. How's it going? You made it. 
Pet Venom. Hey, 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 how's it going? And Pet, I guess you guys know each other. You know the real C. Miller. The real C. Miller is here as well. Welcome. So basically, this I can draw over and we can kind of get a, a basic vibe. The reason why I took this screen, of course, is because we have our lane system in it. Here, we have the highest lane here, and we have uh, the lowest lane here. <laughs> lowest lane. That's like Superman's girlfriend. Okay. And this is like the gameplay gameplay screen right there. So that's why I have these these lines. Oops. These lines here. These lines. That's basically our gameplay area. That's where we're playing around. So that's where I'm roughing in some art. Kevin. Peering in. Peering in at me, Kevin. Um, let's go a little lighter. Okay. Let's grab the gray. So this isn't, like, going to look hot or anything, but it's going to be... Oops. Oops. Sorry about that. Cool. Okay. Okay. Watching you. Right. Do you have a separate animator guy as Automotus? How many are you there anyways? This is a three-man team. Three men in this office that aren't here right now, but they're in this team. Um, then we have we outsource the sound guys. So the animations are all done by a combination of me, uh, the artist, uh, Kaylee, our designer, and Nick Wanders, our coder. We all kind of like throw at it. Absolutely adoring his art style, Pet Venom. Hey, great. Great. That's what we got going on. Oh, Kevin, you're sneaking in. Sneaking in all the time, Kev. Uh, yeah. Everything's gonna look like everything looks like this is some bad guys we got going on. Uh, uh, some other bad guys we have. We just did our keg runner today. He's pretty cool, actually. Let's grab him, guys. Grab him. Grab him. Um. We're home so disorganized. Okay. Really? There we go. Throw him in here. Whoa, he's huge. This one's really big. Look at that. Yeah, it's gonna be sweet. Keg runner did it. Cool. All of us animate. Yeah, yeah, commotion. We all, well, that's why if you check out our animation in our game, uh, it's, 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 it's good, it's serviceable, but we could probably benefit from someone that knows a little bit more what they're doing. But, you know, it's gonna look fine, okay? If people have played it in the chat, you'd think the animation looks okay, right? Right? Just say yes, because that'll make me feel way, 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 way better. Mm-hmm. That might be... Ooh, some Necro Dancer hopping in there. Great stuff by Mr. Danny Bernofsky. Very, very, very cool guy. Okay, let's, uh, cool. Let's get this, like, ground. I want something warm because there's so much snow in our game. Well, okay. That's it. Let's just not knock that down. Cool. Okay, so the pack hurt. Mm, okay, cool. I think it might work. Let's see, I mean, she's great at packs. Cool. Well, there, you, there you have it. There you have it. An actual player, a big, 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 big fan of the game. Super, super biased. But thank you very much, Vernal the Devil. It's like I don't know if you've heard of Snop Stars Production. They do pretty good games that remind me of you. Hey, cool, Carol. I have not heard of them. Awesome. You have to check them out. They'll be our fans. And Mr. Wiggles with a one. Mr. Wiggles with a one. I knew. I knew it. I had a feeling you were gonna come on by. Welcome to the squad, Mr. Wiggles. Today we're working on some super fun stuff. We're working on environment stuff for our good friends, the Snowplots. And Bonozo Apps, an apps person, I'm assuming. Welcome to the squad, Bonozo Apps. Um, welcome. Just welcome, you know. Really, really appreciate you dropping by. And Histy. Welcome to the squad, Histy. Thanks so much for joining us. We really, really appreciate you coming in and saying hey to great chat. Everybody, everybody's just wonderful. Having a great time. And Ichiversi. Welcome to the squad. You made it too. Well, we're here working on Viking Squad, the greatest three man team out of Vancouver, lane based brawler game dev stream you've ever seen, ever. Right? Right, guys? You know what's up. Oh, Jesus. I pulled out way too much stuff. I brought all the stuff. I'm going to bring some fish posters. Let's, let's bring some of these fish posters in. These posters are kind of silly. I always like pictured like it'd be like if we put like a, like a po like in like in the nineties you had like posters of pizza everywhere or something. I don't know. That's here. There we go. And maybe up here. Okay, okay. They're probably like too big, but take them down. These are some things we can show up there. Okay, cool. So if this is like a packed dirt, 
ground. A lot of great, a lot of new viewers. Welcome everybody. I am Jesse. My name's Jesse. I go by Joust the Drawbarian, which is the cheesiest name you'd probably call yourself as an artist. That's okay. This is gonna be packed dirt. I think that's gonna be. You want? I know, right? Get, gets crunk. I know. Gets crunk. <laughs> I think that'll be like the dirt and the ground. Uh, Kevin always... He's like, he doesn't even look that impressed. Yeah, I know I've been away for a while due to the hospital and stuff. Oh, Jibs, 13. Sorry to hear that, man. Hopefully everything's okay. Damn. Sorry to hear. Always a bummer. But those hospitals, uh, they're pretty good at fixing people up. Okay, so... A little warm. It's getting there. And then now uh, let's throw in some background prop elements. Things are looking up now. Yep, that's right. Click enter. Can you say snop stars? Is it snop stars? Is that am I saying it wrong? Am I just saying <laughs> it's snop stars? Snopo stars? Snop stars. I think it's snop. That's how I'm gonna say it. I say things wrong all the time. You know, you can, you can make fun of me all you want, but all right. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna. Like a really really rough idea of it. Basically, this screen here is how we're gonna make the actual full res version of it. I have all these elements here: the sushi, the pots of fish, the fish beer, right there, classic. Does anybody might anybody in the chat might have the fish beer pins we made? Oh, check it out. Yep. I'm gonna hold it up. Yep, you can kind of see it. There it goes. Yeah, there's a fish beer. Pin. How cool is that? The coolest right answer to that question. Okay. Have this here at our wall. Whoops, a rough wall. Roughed in. Cut off. Okay, cool. It's getting there. It's getting there. So I'm gonna be putting on things to make it look more like an interior. <laughs> Kevin, got really huge on the screen there. First. So we want it to be like a. You have those buttons. Awesome. Oh yeah, everybody's got them. Cool. Everybody have those pins? Awesome to hear. This is going to be the... We're, we're kind of making an interior, and we're, this is going to be fun because we can have a uh, fish beer bar, like we were mentioning earlier. That'll, that, that'll be fun. Let's throw down some elements here. Classic. This is going to be great. Okay. Give me a classic barrel. You guys are like, you're like yeah, Jess, draw me a barrel. I like we've seen a million friggin' barrels in video games. You know what, but guys, just... Don't be too mean, okay? Barrels are an important part of video games. We have we we can throw them around. We have the yellow fish beer one, the green ham one. Oh man, don't have any buttons. I promise that I. If I did, I would rep them for you, Jesse. Okay, Josh, I'm starting to think. I'm starting to remember now. You know what, Josh? If we if we meet again, I'll 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 go bring some. We don't have very many left, but. Okay, so here's some things. What else we can do? We're thinking about maybe having like a bar, like an actual bar kind of. We'll see what that looks like. We'll hide our keg runner. Oh, he disappeared. Oh, I know, I know. Here's some animation for you. Here he is walking across level. Oh, oh, see you later, buddy. Captain Starks SC. Starksy? Starksy? Welcome to the squad, Captain Starksy. Thanks so much for coming by and checking us out as we do some great background stuff for Viking Squad and Bash 11. Bash 11, you made it too. Great, great hearing from you. How's it going? My new new followers is exciting. It's super stuff. Welcome to the squad. How's it going, everybody? Oh, hey, Digi. You're paying. Kuziel. Welcome to the squad, Kuziel. Thanks so much. Conventions that. Oh, GDC is the game developer convention, Vernal the Devil. It's uh, down in San Francisco, and it's a great time. Hey, Digi. How cool is this? I'm asking Digidomo Art Designer. We can actually have the bar. I'm drawing really slowly for some reason. God damn it. Okay, let's throw some shading on it. Okay, did you check this out? So, Digi, this is gonna be. I, I, I usually go by Kaylee's handle whenever he's uh, porting it. Like when we play with Dota and that kind of stuff. So, Kaylee, check this out, man. So, basically, we can have the bar, right? And we can have enemies come out of the bar, like jump from behind it, right? And check that out. Look at that. Keg runner behind the bar. Check that out. Da -da -da -da. Look at that! That's gonna be so cool, right? What do you major in to get this kind of work? What do I major in? I don't major in stuff. I 
To get this kind of work, you just gotta be loud and draw fast. That's what you gotta do. Get crunks. Gets crunk. I went to, uh, I did go to a game school, but um, I, I, I could already draw before that. The Digi, that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, yeah. How's it going, Griff? How's it going, man? That will be sweet. Hey, I was trying to <laughs> communicate with Kaylee, but it will be sweet. These guys hopping out from behind the bar. Oh, man. And when they're behind the bar, they can, like, peek out. Oh, cool. It's gonna be cool, man. You guys are gonna be so happy. You're gonna be so, so proud of us. And everything's brown. I have a problem with drawing everything brown, but we're gonna we're gonna fix that. Maybe the yeah. Actually, let's uh let's let let's go in and grab some of our fish beer. There we go. Come with me, fish beer. We're gonna put you in the game. Rep. Yes. There we go. That's gonna be cool. Serving up serving up those beers. Oh, you can throw them around. Just need a snow claw maiden behind the bar with really big hair, maybe wiping the bar down with a cloth. Hey, <laughs> that'd be pretty sweet. Good old, good old classic bar, bar maiden. Oh, they can slide. Oh, that's cool. I'm just into into the bar culture now. Is what I'm. Joey Godard, Lord of War. How's it going? Adamander, snow claw tavern. Yes, that's right, Adamander. How's it going, Adamander? Adamander, you've, well, you've, you've, well, you've, you've been with us for a while, Adamander. So welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, we're doing a really, really rough, small, shoddy drawing of um, interiors for our Snowclaw levels. It's going to be really, really fun. That's what we're doing. And today we, we should... <laughs> Kevin's in. Everything's okay, Kevin. Don't you worry, buddy. Mm. Yes, we did some great rough stuff. We even did a pirate bear today. Look at that. A pirate bear. We did a, covered a lot of ground today. Let's see. Yeah, going there. Feeling pretty cool. Probably what we, what we usually typically have to do is... Rough this out here. If you actually notice, um, see our alternating patterns here? That's so we can separate the lanes, so it actually is quite helpful if we do something like that. So, I will do this. Sorry I'm working so small, guys. Um, this is just kind of really helpful because I tend to just start right at it and it's screwed me up a bunch. So, we're going to start small so I can just get a little, little bit more manageable chunks. You guys are okay with that, though, right? You're okay. You're okay. Alright, so, here we go. Mm -hmm. um. Hey, maybe that'll work. Mostly. Mostly coming comes out at night. Mostly. Okay. Mm, I don't know if I'm feeling that, but there, there is there. The bar can drop a bit. Yeah. I think it's good at drawing the computer, Ford and Freeman. Ford and Freeman, it just, it's, you just, if you draw on the computer enough, and fast enough, and often enough, you're going to be just as good as I am. Probably better. Drawing on the computer is fast. Oh, I'm using a Cintiq. I'm using like a tablet, like a drawing tablet. Like this, this is actually like a big tablet I'm drawing on. I'm not using a mouse or anything. Um, it's all of the, the stuff I'm doing and using is right down there at the bottom. I didn't get at anything, to be honest. That's right. You just, you just, just do a lot of it. A lot of it. Cool, like the bar, it'll be fun. Right back there. Actually, I'm throwing some crates in. I can actually borrow a lot of this this stuff. Let's grab some. Oh yeah, that's my favorite crate. The crate full of fish. It's really full of ham. But don't tell anybody. Cool. And the Manny Loco. Welcome to the squad, the Manny Loco. Hope you dig what you we what we got to show and share with you. Thank you so much for coming by. And uh, joining the squad, becoming a member of the squad. Yeah, that's right, Gordy. You just said it to draw. King... King Olio 2. Welcome to the squad, King Olio 2. Thanks so much for, for dropping by and saying hey to the crew here. That's the entertainment and the great guys at Power Potty in the chat. And Doo Doo Brown, you came too. Thanks so much, dude. Really, really appreciate the follow. Thanks so much. Okay, cool. Okay, he's got some elements there. This has got to be really simple back here. Our sin. Welcome to the squad, our sin. Thanks so much for joining the squad. This great pile of people in the chat, and this great, this great everything, man. I'm in a great mood. I'm in a great mood today. I'm having a really, really good time with everybody here. And H16 Aaron, welcome to the squad, H16 Aaron. Thanks so much for stopping by here while we work on the background elements of Viking Squad. That's what we're working on now. We're working on Viking Squad, our lane-based brawler with RPG and Lord of War. You did it. I saw you in the chat. You came. I knew. I knew. I knew it. I knew. I knew we could get the Lord of War in here. So, thanks so much for joining us, Lord of War. Okay, let's go. 
And yo, thanks for the sub, doofus. Yo, thanks for the sub, doofus. Oh, okay, well, now now are we just getting like jokes, getting me just to say something. Yo, thanks for the sub, doofus. Welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Wednesday. We do this every Wednesday for two hours, and you guys are more than ha more than welcome to stop by, talk with a great crew here. I think what we can also do in here is do some cool chandelier stuff. Let's see if it works. Um, things up close, of course. We're going to be doing a bit of silhouette stuff. <laughs> Darken it up. Kind of cool. I don't know. Play with some shapes. Play with some shapes. The big trick here is going to be getting that wall piece. It's going to be really, really big. Crazy. That's okay. Hide the beers. Hide the runner. You can do this for years, it works, but create the social distance between your hand and the screen. Drawing on the surface like you were trained to do works so much better. Yes, it does. Um, it is cool that when you're working with like a tablet, your hand's not in the way. But you're right, it is totally different. Actually, on the tablet, just got picked up today. <laughs> that, that, that's right. <laughs> Look at all these, all these waves. These friendly folks in the chat. You know that Slick brings the right chat. The right people. Cool. That's a really neat vibe, actually. And we can also have... I'm thinking, so, I'm thinking, good thing I have this open, because we also have, like, these cool fish lanterns, kind of, like, the style of, and we can put those, like, on here. Fun. Next, we have the Rogue Legacy soundtrack from Mr. Gord McLattery. Rock in our ears, thanks so much, Gord, for letting us use Cellar Doors, your own, your own soundtrack. What am I saying? What am I saying? This is Rogue Legacy soundtrack by our... We got him too, guys. We got Mr. Gordon McGlatter of A Shell in the Pit to do our music. And it's awesome. It's going to be great. I'm going to just... I'm basically just throwing on these lights just for fun. Just to see how, how, how they look. So we're drawing them small. We're drawing them nice and small. And we can shade this too. Gordon's out. Fill the pits out. Do you leave? Do you leave? You shave again, I'll unfollow. I wumbo. Okay, okay. <laughs> don't want to lose. Don't want to lose. I wumbo. Sorry for scaring you there, but you know you gotta you gotta mix it up. I'm not just a beard. I'm not just a pretty face. Pretty face. Oh, we got some my funky friend MDK's music assailing our ears now. Chip Tooney stuff. All right. Right. Barrels. Cool. I think the barrels. Throw the barrels here. And some lanterns. Lanterns gonna be on the floor too. Okay. I'll like warm it up a little bit. Um. Thanks for not Fordin. That's right. That's right. Ford. <laughs> Just got a <laughs> Slack update. I'm Ford. What's going on? What is going on? What's going on, Kev. Come on, buddy. Jesus. Okay. Okay, definitely, definitely thinking about putting in. We're over here, I guess. Definitely thinking about putting in. Um, what level is that in Super Street Fighter 3? Like, it's got like the Scotch refinery. Beast 11 Beast! Welcome to the squad, Beast 11 Beast. We needed. We needed. We need Beast 11 Beast to come on in and welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And sets are 7. You made it too. Thanks a lot, buddy. Appreciate it. Welcome to the squad. Welcome for, thanks so much for the follow while we work. We, we, we hammer out this like a uh, tight little space here. And Corail. Corail. I want to say Corail. I'm butchering that name. Sorry about that. But welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for coming by. And what I was mentioning before is I was thinking of... Boom. Iwumbo, welcome to the squad. Oh, thanks for that follow. I guess I better not shave again, or else I'll lose Iwumbo. No, I don't know if I, I don't know if I, my my heart can take that. Thanks so much for joining us, Iwumbo. Welcome to the squad. Okay, what I think I'm think <laughs> taking me too long to explain my idea here, so I'm trying to draw. I'm like that'll be quicker, but then I've lost my train of thought, and now. But that's okay. I was thinking it's gonna be cool because I got. That's why I think it's helpful to just draw a lot as opposed to just draw really good, a few really good things. Because uh, having this guy out open makes me kind of get the feel of 
how fast and how rough and tumble the the uh, a tavern that the Snowclaws run would be. Okay, so basically this is a barrel. I wanted. I think it's gonna be fun if we get something like this going on. You guys know what's up. <laughs> you guys know what. Yes, I did it. Cool. You guys got it right. Like something like this. Actually, let's just see what we got here. Yes. Cool. Yeah, I can stack it up behind the bar. No problem. Yes. Oops. Er. Yeah, there you go. Dr. Bill's physics would fall over. Yeah, totally. That's totally. Physics fall like falling barrels. Oh, that's such a great idea. We can have the guys behind the bar chucking barrels. I mean, crap, that's a cool idea. What a cool idea, did you? Fall three is go already, but it's somehow un unfollowed? I oh, Wumbo, maybe it's because I, I shaved and you're like, screw this guy. See you later. Wumbo, what? What? Uh... Maybe it's an omen I Wumbo. <laughs> Alright. Cool. Stacked. Yeah, and I, I think what I really want, I guess taverns have like stoves usually. I don't know if these guys really have stoves, they just kind of eat raw fish. But, you know, they like the odd cozy bit. What we can also do here is let's uh, let's try something like this. This will work. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, you guys know what's up. You guys know what I'm drawing here, don't you? Still at work. Oh, that guy, Mike. Still at work? Man. Thanks for dropping by then, Mike. Really appreciate it. So what's cool is we actually put big pieces of art here that can just be like the uh, windows. Oh, the window actually really helps. I like that. Um, let's quickly draw a background that Jesse's so good at drawing. Right? 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 Yeah. Cool. So you actually have like, windows like this. Cut out. Looks like he's on a submarine. Maybe I'll make the windows square. Holy hell, windows! I know, right? In fact, the produce. You were like, I don't know if you can handle how how cool this is gonna be with windows. Windows that opens it up a little bit. A little pool of light. Um, things in the front. I wanna try some things in the front. Cause if you look at our game, nothing really here. But again, I guess this is this is a good example. This stuff here. Stuff there can like really break up the. Game quite well. It's been a time, dude. Nobody goes into taverns in the day. Uh, <laughs> maybe you, you will if you're a snowclaw. Right? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. If it's, uh, if it's 6 p.m. somewhere, that's what I always say. Yeah, all right. Okay, you know, we're getting a little... What do you feel? What's cool is um, these windows actually do kind of open up. Um, throw some... Uh, I think we can actually hide some stuff like this here. This might look cool. Might look cool. Hey guys, might look cool. Okay, throw on some nice candle. I love drawing candles. And you can totally tell I like drawing candles. Cause okay, look at that. Candle, bloop. Yeah, look how happy he is lately. <laughs> oh yeah, you just love that candle. Okay, do that again. And just put the bar patrons in who don't give a shit about the fight. That'd be cool. That'd be pretty easy. Did you? Hey, did you? What do you think about that? Some guys just sitting there. Sims say 94. Welcome to the squad. How's it going? 94. There's a year. There's a good year. Good year, buddy. Thanks so much for the follow. We really, really appreciate it here at Slick Entertainment. And Fry EMC. Welcome. Welcome to that squad. Welcome to the squad, my friend. Come on in. Come on in. The tavern's fine. The Snowclaw Tavern's fine that we're building. Out of elements here. It's all exterior stuff. This is why it's so much fun to bring in interior stuff. We make it a lot warmer. It look a lot different. Uh, me and Digi are very. Me and Digi, Kaylee, me and Kaylee Charchuk are very, very excited about the interior. of This is we make a lot of exteriors. This is when the Vikings get right in there and steal some. Some. All right. Let's. Um. I guess they use maybe some kind of form of fish candle. So let's color it green. Right. Fish candle. That's a thing. Is that a thing, guys? It is now. Our thing. So we're so I'm I'm keep zooming out because it's kind of like that's I'm piecing it together. The mise en scene, I think, mise en scene, which means your your eyes can only really follow like seven things at once on a screen. It's like from film. 
More great music from Mr. Morgan, David King. Thank you very much, Morgan. MDK, guys. If you want to check it out, MDK. He just did a Kickstarter. Um, you can win a ridiculous... Well, it's over, but there's a ridiculous shirt I helped design. I gotta say, it's like the weirdest thing I've ever helped design. Yeah, Snowclaws can only make things out of fish. That's right. We can't do that. We can Yes, we can do that. There we go. That's uh, Digidomo, if anyone doesn't know. He is our He's our designer. He's our designer. He's in the chat. It's not just a doofy. It's not just some goofy looking artist in the chat. We have lots of guys. We have sound guy, artists in the chat, and right, it's the best chat ever. It's got everything. It's, it's everything, doesn't it, guys? You guys know. And this took too long to draw. Sorry, guys. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I'll shrink that because it's a little bit too big. But that. Ah. Whoops. I made it. F I made it flat. Okay, so that could be kind of a fun thing. I spy you. Grab the. Yeah. So as you can see, it's just kind of like really, really loose. So we can kind of get the idea of what the screen's gonna look like with all this cool stuff. Is it a Unity dev in the chat, stuff man? Let's see. Let's see. Fish candle holder. Oh, I like that. That actually, uh, sneak over here. Use some fish candle holder. Beer, yes, yes. See the fish beer. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, so 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 refreshing. See this. Oh, this, this is our this is our this is our town theme. Oh, so good. Love it. Yes, sorry. Uh, cool. What's up, bro? New here. Can you explain a bit about the project you're working on and what program you're using? Okay, Guigo Lima, that's right. Digidomo is our designer right there. He filled you in a little bit. This game's called Viking Squad. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going open, to open my um, my my go-to image that I always forget the go-to. It'll take a little second. It'll take a little second. But this is going to be... This is like the title image we needed to throw together. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Big stretch. Ah, yeah, there we go. Boom, this is Viking Squad. Our game. It's called Viking Squad. That's what's going on. It's a lane-based brawler. It's like a brawler. It's like Streets of Rage. It's like Golden Axe. That's what we got going on. And we can pick one of these four awesome Vikings. We got, like, a cool bow guy. We got, like, a really angry, fiery hatchet dude. But he wields twin hatchets. We got a very powerful and sassy hammer maiden. Urgh, she's mad too. And we have this great looking shield guy here who can defend the team. Everybody fights a little bit differently and yeah, that's what we got going on. So hopefully that clears up some stuff and now we're working on interiors and backgrounds which are not my forte, but you gotta do it, right? I gotta say, if I, uh, if I could, I could draw like handle holder. I don't know what that is, but it's very strange. Yeah, and we have some pretty cool ones here in Vikings. Here's a cool one. Fish head. Fish head candle holder. Look at that. There we go. Here's a candle holder. Woof, look at that. You know what? I like this candle so much, we're just going to put it in. We're just going to put it in that little scene we made. Zazi 5. Wait, whoops, one second here. I, I accidentally opened a bridge. Sorry about that. Dozy5, welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for joining us here on Slick Entertainment, everyone. While we work on some background element stuff, we're not going to get too much like final stuff in the game, but we're like we're playing around and seeing what we need to make here. Hammer every possibly can. Where do you guys learn how to write up an engine, Digidomo? That's a good question. Nick Wanders is our coder. He's gone right now, but he's been writing engines and stuff for a while now. They're very it's a very, very good thing to get involved in though, gotta say. Coders coders make this all this like goofy art. It would just be the ramblings of a madman. It honestly would be. Guys like Nick Wanders and Billy Charchuk weren't around to help make the make it so good, make it so much fun. Make it work. Jesus. Way too much time on this candle holder, but it's good. Look at that candle holder. You guys want one too, don't you? There's a 
There, there'd be a reward. Yes. Beat the game and we'll send you this fish candle holder. Look at that. We'll bring it in here. Bring it right in there. Candle holder. There you are. A little big, so we'll shrink you down. That's gonna be cool. Yay! That looks way better than my little lamp. Go away, lantern. Yeah. Fish candle holder time. Cool. Okay. Um broken glass. I think we definitely want to see some um I think I think I think we'll just do it this way, because this way is a lot of fun. We'll throw in some bar stools, okay? Okay. Um, we're just gonna draw a really rough bar stool. That one works. Looks okay. Looks okay. All the fish stuff real similar. Thank you. Yes, uh, definitely the. We did go whole hog on these guys. These guys are kind of funny. I mean, we do kind of feel bad for for going and wreck, wrecking all their stuff. Might be something going on with that, you know. Story. And here, guys, this is why the free transform tool rocks. Wait, I'll show you why it rocks in a second. While I lighten the. See it? Saturated. Hmm. Hmm. While I draw the bar stool. Yep. Da -da -da. Okay. Okay. So, and I'll throw some light. And we can also use the gray. say this is the bar stool we want okay that's not it's not the bar stool we want it's the bar stool we need okay so let's take this and we can actually like straighten it out even though jesse drew it kind of weird yeah there you go okay. jesse's way better than you thought he was okay cool so with stuff like stools and just because I look like a little bit better of an artist, I'll put some like highlights or something. Oh, look at this! <laughs> the light just hit. Cool. It is the bar that we deserve, right? Yes, all the tools written in C sharp. There you go. Did you demo? Saving the day. Thank you so much, Kaylee. Really, really appreciate it, buddy. That's our designer, Kaylee, who who does a whole pile of crap. And in case you guys haven't wondered, this isn't our, this is the first game we've worked on together. But this is not the first game these guys have made. digi has been part of Ubisoft. He's been part of. Uh, Microsoft, he's been all over the place. They shipped him out to like A and Montreal. The guys, the guy's super smart. The guy's great. So yeah, if you have any questions on being a designer, because we know, <laughs> look at him really drawing a lot of this bar stool. Okay, throw this bar stool in. Yes, a little big. That's no problem. Shrink it down. Love bar stools and stuff. Actually, I think I want to get the. This is, I'm sorry guys, this is what I should've been doing the whole time. I just draw it like bigger here. Bring it in and shrink it. Cause okay, this is gonna be the bar. Um, I'm thinking, these guys are kind of more practical, but I'm thinking we can embellish it a little bit. I'm kind of just doing some designs here to kind of like schnazz up that bar. Cause the bar looks lame. Like look at this thing. You guys like Jesse, the bar looks lame. Look how cool the bar stools look. Look how lame the bar looks. Sorry guys. I won't let you down this time, because now we're drawing a cool bar. A really quick one. Um, let's see. Colors we can borrow. Kind of like this color. I want to see sharp now. Anybody have any tips? Unity. Oh, pick up Unity. It's really fun. There you go. Digidomo actually just recently built like a little demo in like no time, because he does that. In Unity. He uses Unity a lot. So nothing wrong with using Unity. Nick just loves C sharp. He's crazy about it. All right, guys? You guys know you guys know if you guys know nick nick's usually here guys but he'll be here next week rocking out these dev streams you have great coder questions but kaylee will help answer those questions as well and ninja scct welcome to the squad ninja scct appreciate you stopping by joining the squad hanging out with us here all the folks here at power up audio and at slick entertainment this is where you want to be if and Wasawu. Welcome to the squad, Wasawu. Thanks for coming by, pal. Really, really appreciate it here while we draw and work on stuff. For that's right. That's right. Boom. Maybe here we can go back to it. Uh, back, back out. Viking squad. That's the game we're working on now. We got cool bad guys. We got this spooky Draugr. This guy uh, lives in the jungles. He's going to be zone three. We're going to work on him soon. It's going to be great. 
And we're working on the snowcloth stuff here. We're building a tavern. Rough tavern, rough elements. It's all good, though. You know what's up. You know what's up. Over here. Back in here. But yes, thank you so much for dropping by. We really, 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 really appreciate it here at Click Entertainment. Every Wednesday, guys. We do this for two hours. Get a lot of cool stuff done. Um, ugh, okay, cool. Oh my god. Sorry. Get a little, get a little sloppy. Get a little sloppy here. Alright. Let me the bars hang. Boom, boom, boom. And I guess we need like some rope. Rope color. Up. <laughs> MDK makes such silly music. But that's what I listen to as well. A lot of great music on here too. Killing me. Oh, there we go. Alright. Currently in high school, freshman, my daydream is to become a computer programmer. Really? Okay. Well, this is this is Beast Love and Beast. Thanks for the follow where we saw you earlier. Um, what did we think? Uh, I'm talking to take a Java class and it's been extremely easy. The only thing is stopping me from wanting to advance to my teacher. She's the only computer science teacher at my school. If I do continue, I'll spend four years with her. I cannot bear that. Any advice on what I should do? Man, um, Digi Domo, our resident designer, might have some advice for you. Uh, I don't, me, I like, dude, I just draw. I just draw, I just draw a bunch, and I'm like loud, that's about it. So, hopefully, Digidomo saw that, and I'm pretty sure he did. He's probably thinking of maybe some advice he can give you. Make things, that's a really good piece of advice, actually. Um, it does sound silly, it does sound like, get good. It does sound kind of cop outy, But, just making games, tools, demos, really, really helpful. Okay, I think that'll work. This is gonna be our, our this is gonna be our, like our, our test bar. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, it looks at least at least looks better than the last thing. Cut this out. I'm just doing some um about to break up the monotony here. This is gonna be the bar we're gonna test with. Test bar, boom. It'll at least look better than the other one. Look how big it is. Oh, I forgot the lines. I'm a dummy. Okay. Let's Right, there we go. Bar looks a little bit cooler now. There we go. Cooler bar. Um, let me just tile it. Make it a little bit longer. All right. I'll just go over to chat for a second. Um, that's right. Then as a teacher, Forever Descent. That's right. If you are autodidactic enough and can teach yourself, the internet is crazy. There's so many people that just put free stuff on there, but you need to like some people actually need direction. Like there's nothing wrong with going to school. But if you don't need direction, you can just use that internet. And use that internet there. Whatever you like. Dun, 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 dun. Huh, huh. Okay, cool. Alright. Cool. You know what? This, this, is, this is gonna be pretty sweet. I'm actually pretty excited about this. I was really worried. It wasn't going to come together. Get out of here. Low res barrels. And Goomer Sind Zero. Welcome. Welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for stopping by, Goomer Sind. Actually, what am I doing? We have barrels, guys. We have barrels. I'm going to grab them. I'm going to grab them for you right now. Hobson. Welcome to the squad, Hobson. Thanks so much for the follow. Hobson. We knew it. Classic Hobson. Waiting for waiting for Hobson to follow. We never follow, but there he was. Awesome. Environment. And Cheap Kill, welcome to the squad, Cheap Kill. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out our stream while Jesse looks for barrels. Barrels, found them. Open them up. Boom, three barrels. One, two, three. Bot MJ, welcome, Bot MJ. How's it going? Welcome to the squad, Mr. Bot MJ. While we throw in some cool barrels, way cooler barrels. Cool. Barrels will fit. Barrels fit pretty well in here. There's a belt on the barrel. I get it. I know. I know it's silly. Welcome to working with me. Okay. 
Yes. Cool. Like, um... Yeah. Alright, one more barrel. Barrel's huge. Put this barrel in the front. We'll cover up my crappy low-res barrel. There you go. Cool. Nice, this is gonna be cool, guys. I know it's like I'm like using my imagination a little bit. Bo should beat his head in randomly. I don't know if you can. I, I guess I can bring Bo in. But Bo doesn't have any colors, though. Oh. No claw. Hanging out. I gotta close some of these windows, guys. Oh, don't worry, Kev. I won't close you. Oh, well, I'd never close you. Okay. Um, let's see. That barrel. What are rough sketches? Weird. Be gone forever? Close you. Close you now. Oh, ha, there you are. I was zoomed in. That's what it was. Oh, there's Bo right there. Bo that drunk. Bo that oh, pirate bear. Oh, sweet. You're in tandem. Oh, charging across the screen with the kegs? That's pretty cool, actually. And we'll put you in here. S. Yeah. Yeah. What's gonna be pretty cool is um Get rid of you. It's something like this. Or we're doing it quick guys, because up here. Washing the washing the jug. The rag. Jesse, what's your favorite thing you've ever made for Viking Squad as Infernal the Devil? That's my favorite thing I've ever made, Viking Squad. Huh. Question. Good question. Favorite thing I've ever made. We all hop into the editor for a You guys can totally tell what, what this is, right? You know he's like washing the, the, the mug? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see. Maybe. Bosses. No, oh, man. I, I, there's a lot of stuff I, I, I like in the game. Penguin was pretty good. I made him when I was like, really, I wasn't feeling too good. That's why he looks kind of silly. And Kevin made the noises. Awesome. Oh, wait. Don't. <laughs> I don't know, man. I kind of like I kind of like everything I make in this game. Um Oh, we have um with these guys now. Oh yeah, I checked them out. Rabbits. No, I like I like I like everything in the game. I think I think everything's been fun making, to be honest. Tyrannosaurus chest, yeah, that 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 was that was pretty big. Um, I like the mimic I made. Yeah, the, yeah, the mimic, the mimic day was fun. That was a fun mimic day. We we actually designed mimics for for for, for Viking Squad, and that was really fun. This is actually, Beludi, Cat, D'Angelo. Yeah, Cat D'Angeloni, sorry. Your coin crypt soundtrack. Crypt. So let's uh, just color this a little bit better. Um, just for some separation. No other real. Oops. <laughs> and we'll get some of that. So, if this is our bartender, really, really rough bartender, we'll sneak him back. And noob ponin09, thanks for taking time out of your day to stop ponin noobs. Come by and join the squad. Welcome. Welcome to the squad. So much for coming by. Really, really appreciate it here. Team does. He have like a big bartender back there. You know, he can be like, he can like not care what's going on. Grabbing away at those. That'd be cool. Damn, this will be cool. Man, I'm excited about this. 
basically what ends up happening now is like we get this stuff and then I just start making these things big and start implementing them in the game. But this is this is kind of like the rough stuff that I kind of really really like showing. Uh, that's like, that's probably what we're showing. Dude, Lemmy, I'm sorry, man. He can't be part of the game because like you'll be like you'll you'll start hitting us with this lawsuit that you helped make him. He's gonna be part of the stream, and I think that's gonna be pretty important. And let's throw that. Oops. <laughs> let's highlight him. Okay. Um. Down or down. Well. Okay. Be good. Multiple bartenders. Yeah. Bit into cup animation. I can try to do that. They're pretty sweet. How's it going, Merle Mage? Merle Mage, you made it too. Thanks a lot for coming by, Merle Mage. Merle Mage is working on a game as well. Great platformer. No name yet, I don't think, but thanks for stopping by. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at these windows too. They kind of like really open up the uh, little place. There you go. Let's give that bartender something to look at. And I think we can even make a bigger one. I think we can do a bigger one. This will actually be pretty easy because we'll basically make these. Will be easy. Yep. Holes maybe. Hmm. I don't know how easy it'll be. So. <laughs> it might not be easy at all. Okay. I'm gonna feel for it. Okay, let's see. All right. Hide that bartender. Get another. Let's get add like a couple more elements. Things on the ground. Fish, fish on the ground. Yeah. Kind of cool. Do that. Hey Zeke, is hosting you awesome? Yes! Italics, how's it going there, buddy? That's Italics, everybody. What a great streamer. And yeah, we got a great host from, uh, thanks very much, Julia. We got a big host from the Zeke. The Zeke man! That's right. Really appreciate it. Love it that, uh, that, that some game devs get get on the action too. We you know, we love you streamers. You guys are like our favorite folks now. Guys, I'm just trying a fish that's lying down on the ground. And I've done this a couple times, so this might come... Lib. Lib. Hey, okay. little sad fish on the ground. Don't worry, fish. As I talk to everybody, who does a great streaming, got guys that a great voice, got a great stream, and he plays lots of stuff. Still playing City Skylines, I tell Adelix, or have you been playing other stuff? Let us know. Let us know in the chat, and thanks for dropping by. You guys can check out Adelix's, uh, I think. The art he's still using, that's 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 the Drawbarian stuff, that's Maya right there. He looks been nice enough to let me help him make some cool art for his uh, for his stream. It's been awesome. I've never made some stuff for streamers before, which is why I had to ask Julia what's up. Because she makes great art for streamers and I'm like, damn, what am I gonna what am I gonna do? Can't compete with Julia. Dancing Pumpkin is easy in JavaScript, really. Ah, don't put the fish there. Put the fish in the bar. Boom. Whoa, guys. Fish is really... Okay. Okay. Fish. Boom. 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 Shrink that fish. Yes. Big fish. Lying on the back. Lying on the back here. Boom, boom. Okay. Knock that down. Okay, so big fish lying on the ground. Okay, cool. That'll be fun. Big fish on the ground. Kind of a mess. Oh, I kind of want stuff hanging from the, the ceiling. Kind of do. What if we hang from the rafters? Lanterns? I don't know. Lan Lantern? Maybe? You sent me a finished bow and email stream? I, I, I guess I could. I guess I could, Lemmy. If you want. If you want, let me. Maybe, maybe for the the final bit, I'll just color. I'll color Bo. Maybe we can do a color pass on Bo. Bo the pirate bear. And we'll do one more fish. The trick to drawing fish that are on the ground is do a straight line. <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> right, guys? More catchy coin crypt stuff from Mrs. Miss Cat Angeloni. Check out Coin Crypt. That's why our buddy Greg Labanoff 
who I think is coming down to Vancouver this uh this weekend. Or I think he's already down here or something like that. Oh no, I didn't Oh no, I didn't seal it off. I still didn't seal it off. Where's the hole? Oh no. Oh, there you are. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Happy to help. Other mods rotated the host, but I always try every time you stream. Oh, thank you. They always rotate the host. That's okay. Nice night. Nice. Thanks. Thanks for try. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess I guess, I guess we did drop, but that's cool. It was it was great having some people show up, some new people show up and check out the dev stream. We, it was really really cool. Okay, there we go. That fish is looking pretty great. Okay. Mm. All right. And again, pull that fish into our bar. Whoa. Like a fish bench. It's kind of funny. Come on, where are you? It's always a good sign. There's so much crap on the screen. There you go. Slightly ahead of him. Okay. Cool. I think we got uh, what we're going to be building for sure. Um, we might end up getting some light happening. Uh, if I'm drawing it, because my good, but dot. Whoops. Right here. So I'm just gonna put a fade down from the top. Warm it up a little bit. I'll just throw a cool at the bottom. Rump, rump. Eh, makes it look a little bit less flat. I will DM you my email. Okay, Lemmy. You got it. You got it, buddy. Cool. So we got a little good elements. We can chunk that fish away. Get that. Fish should be a red snapper. We can make it. Sure, we can make it red. I want this fish to be red. Where are you? Oh, where'd the fish go? It's been so long hiding it away. Let's see. You, it's a purple snapper. Kind of red. It's a it's a reddish snapper. Anyways, it's still too big. I got the idea of like the fish being thrown around, like at a, at a, at, a, at a bar, at a snow club bar. There, it's like a mess. There's a mess there, lots of. Stuff. We have like sleeping, passed out, snow claws. That'll be fun. That'll be cool. These windows will probably gonna be static art. Now that I think about. It. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Um, excuse me. Drink of water. Yes, that was a color overlay. It was set to overlay. Um, the layer style was color overlay. Whew. All right. Okay. Kaylee has a very good idea. I just caught it. A fireplace set piece. Okay, so... I don't know exactly how... Oh, there we go. Huh, I learned something new today. Oh, me. Okay. For a fire piece. Let's uh, play around some fire piece ideas. It's just, just, just... So... Ace the Jackalope. Welcome to the squad, Ace. How's it going, buddy? Welcome to the squad. This is the Vikings dev stream by Slick Entertainment. Three-man team out of Vancouver, working with the insanely talented Shell in the Pit musician Gordon McLattery and those great, talented folks at Power Up Audio, Mr. Joey Goddard and Regami. It was birthday, so give Kevin Regami a shout-out. You know you want to. Playing around with some uh, stove ideas here, so this is going to be a little rough, but that's okay. I got, like, it's not, I think... Would it be a fish-themed stove? I think so. So, I kind of like the idea of like a... Pot, pot on the stove. Fish-themed stove. This would be where the fire is. Oh, yeah, that's going to be cool. 
Okay, you know, just for for the, for the hell of it, I'm gonna draw it. I think the drink helps me along. Cool. In fact, Bro's like glad I'm glad you dig it. I know it's like a little bit rough, a little bit like 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 kind of zoomed out, but this is kind of how we we kind of rough elements in. I thought we have some fun stuff here. Gonna be making nice bowl of fish beer, um, pot of fish beer on the stove. Uh, we'll go over here. Oh, we got some heavy, heavy MD. I usually, I get confused when there's lyrics in the music. Sorry, guys. I usually fast forward through them. Okay, we're gonna make this, we're gonna make this fish stove. That's what we're gonna make. It's gonna be great. Question, why do you think you're going to get a finished product as stuff, man? Zero. Uh, end of the year. End of this year. This year is when it ends our game's gonna be. Hopefully, fingers crossed, ready to rock. Hopefully this year it's going to be ready to go, and the end of this year, and we we want to we want to make a really really good game. We got a bunch of the like, it's going to be just content creation polish now. That's basically what we're working on. This is like a a thing to kind of mix up the, what we got going on, so far. It's a lot of exteriors, and now we want to make an interior. That's what we're making. Put a big stone slab up here. I know, race. OMG. I would just like to point out this game was amazing so far. Cool. Ace. Thanks so much, buddy. Awesome. Awesome. I'm glad you dig it. It's going to look like this because we got like one artist on it, one designer, one coder. It's going to sound amazing. We got a great team of audio guys on it. Thank you. Really, really, really appreciate that. It's definitely something that I'm always worried about. Um, I'm kind of hard on myself as an artist, and uh, it, it it's always feels pretty cool when you people actually really dig the way the game looks. This is just the chimney. This will probably be a separate piece. We can mix it up and stuff. I don't know. Well, this this stuff might not even make it in. It's fun. To, it's fun to draw this. Look. Bubbling stove. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's try this out. Cool. <laughs> I got so. Oh my god! I gotta fix this. Oh my god. That do this. There we go. Ooh. Okay. What a cool looking fish stove. Let's do it. Let's make this our stove. Thanks for the Mother Barber on the PS4 scene. There we go. Have you made any other games? Awesome. Hey, thanks a lot, Ace. Really appreciate that. That's some great, great, great stuff from Ace. Thank you very much, Ace. Um, made out any other games? You can try out Slick Entertainment. Um, we've worked on Shellraiser, a great mobile game for iOS and Android. Nick Wanders helped bring N Plus to Xbox Live Arcade, and also worked on Scrap Metal. So far, that's it. But Nick has also worked on um, Dark Crusade, uh, Homeworld Two. Um, Kaylee's worked on Driver San Francisco. Kaylee's worked on Army of Two. Kaylee's worked on Raccoon City. The Squad multiplayer Resident Evil game. Kaylee's worked on that, so this ain't our first rodeo. You know what I mean? Okay. Right. Got the colors. Boom. All right. Boom. Oops, come on. Um, I've used this kind of green jadish color. A little bit lighter. A little bit dark. Um, or... There we go. I've used this, this this kind of green jade for a lot of the... Uh... Oh, sorry about that. You can't actually see them here, but... Statues. <laughs> Fish in the snowbank. Oh, boy. Okay. But yeah, this'll, this'll, be, this'll be good. Oh jeez, my windows away. Where'd they go? Oh, there you go. Sorry about that. Got a little bit lost, a little bit sidetracked. Mm hmm. Dun, 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 dun. We ever make a comic? Would love to see one of this art style. Julius, yes. <laughs> I used to. It's funny actually. I used to make a comic for League of Legends back when I played it. I don't know if it's even around anymore, but if you type it, if you look up Caveman Udyr, 
you might be able to find the comic I worked on, which is a long time ago, so the art's pretty bad. But I do find, like, I do love comics. Um, I wanted to be a comic person, which is why I kind of started practicing getting fast at art. But it is the most work I've ever done in my life. Um, eventually, though, man, I'd love, I'd love to do a comic. Just the whole story, just, just all me, just. But uh, love to see Julia. That's a great, that's a great question, great suggestion. I love comics. Um, be a lot of fun. Just it's so much work. It's the most, it's the hardest I've ever worked is when I work on a comic book. Big props to anyone working on a comic because holy god, is that ever a bunch of work? All right, look at that stove. Got a pretty good looking stove here. We're gonna throw it in. So it's gonna look good. Um, there's some, there's some lighting. Right, all right, guys. Oh, look at that stove, man! What a stove! I like the stove. I need a lot of fun stuff to put in this. Look at that big stove, nice and big. Okay. That's cool. Now we can actually move this barrel and put this back. Wait, is it, how do you move something back? Ugh, I used to know this. I used to know, guys, but I forget now. There you go. Goes back here. That barrel in the front, I guess. Yes. Oh, that's gonna be cool. I need to take these things and put them over here. I need that. I need two of those. Look at that. You want a fish stove, to be honest? Yeah. Like, you know, we'll we'll probably get into selling fish stoves uh, if Viking Squad doesn't come through. It'll be the next logical next logical thing. Actually, we can actually hide our, hide our Viking. Because now, it's kind of becoming homier now. You know? Little things become way homier. That's kind of strange. Sorry about that. <laughs> like, why did I pick the weird color? Cool. That yeah, stove hanging, about, hanging up back there. Yeah, man, what a great place. Your friends put out four panel comics every Tuesday. Dude, that's awesome. Indie Chief, that's great. That's great. League of Legends is taking Twitch. I know. I'd much rather Dota 2 take Twitch. That was like tasty stew brew on that salty stove. That's right. That is right. This the green stew brew. Cool. Oh, can we also have like a cutting board somewhere to cook this stuff? Hmm. Pots, cauldrons. That's kind of cool. Let's do a cauldron too. I'm just on like, oh man, you guys got me on props. Oh, I love props. I drop props all day. All stream. Props, no problem. <laughs> Maybe like a big ladle or something. Maybe like, oh yeah, if it, this thing needs like a high... The, the ladle's like reinforced because this fish stew is so gross. The stuff should be usable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's just tell Nick we're going to put a, a cooking mini game into the game. That's a, that's a big thing of people just starting out. Whenever you start saying, let's have a blank mini game in your game, realize that at that point you're making two games. Even if this is mini, it doesn't matter. You're still making two games. But these things can be cool because, guys, check this out. Whoops. So check. I'm gonna color this thing really quick first. Uh, we're gonna use this. So basically, check this out, guys. Okay, they tell me this is gonna be a good idea. I think it's gonna be a good idea. Love this had neon pink. Sorry, pink. Ah, oh, what's wrong with me? Neon green. There we go. Neon green. And uh, let's go with the wrap color. Love work, Jesse. Hitmanatee. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, Hitmanatee. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate that. But uh, pretty, pretty tough on myself and not too happy with my art all the time. So hearing that really, really makes me feel good. So I appreciate it. We all do here at Slick Entertainment. While I make this cauldron of slime. That's what they probably serve. Good old cauldron of fish beer. Okay, so how cool would this be, Haley? I like. Uh, uh, I'll finish this up one second. Um, it's shiny. Too. There we go. Pretty good, Jesse. Okay. Um, put it above. You can probably hide this guy now too. We have like big cauldrons, and then you can like knock them over. 
and spill the slime everywhere. Oh, that'd be cool. How about that, Kaylee? How cool would that be? Splorch, splorch. Right? Right? We'll think about it. I don't know what it would do. Maybe it'd stick you. Maybe it'd poison you. Because fishery is so bad, would it actually poison your dude? Damn. Mm-hmm. Cool. Ah, nice. Okay, I'm actually get rid of some of these things, too. Just run new stuff. Hey, you need a solid wall. It's going to be easy to do. Stop, man. <laughs> what are you doing? That's so how much I get paid. I get, I'm get. i on salary. That means anything. Any bold question asking on top and realize what you're asking. That's correct. I'm on salary. I'm doing fine. I'm, like, obviously overweight, so, you know, I'm uh, I'm eating eating too much. <laughs> Yes, uh, you can actually check out um, artists' pay grades in video games. Just check out the internet. It's basically there. I'm paid in fish. I spilled the slime. I know, I spilled the slime everywhere. It'd be cool. It's going to be pretty awesome. We also have, like, yeah, we also have, like, slime puddles. I think slime puddles will be a neat little addition to the level. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's gonna be so cool. Oh, we have, and we, oh, that's what we can have. Hey, it's a little weird. We might not dig it. You're wondering what I'm doing, aren't you? Don't worry. Got you. I'm gonna do some cool stuff. Okay. I think this, I think having like the weird, the weird busted ass pipes, we can do that hanging from the, the ceiling and stuff. I think that'd be kind of cool. Might be a little bit too weird. I don't know. We'll see. I'll just do one really quick one. We'll see how it looks. This is going to be from the roof, because things from the roof actually really mix up the game, which is cool. Oh. New bandanas every week. That's right. I can just get paid in bandanas. That get paid in bandanas. <laughs> That's right. I didn't know what to do with the... Do I didn't know what to do with the dollars the guys paid me in, so I just wore them as bandanas. No, but you know, it's not always about... It It, it can't always be about the money. Or else you think you think that if I was at like a big studio, they'd, they'd let me do this? Think so? I don't. I don't think so. They'd be silly because I give away all the trade secrets. And I'm going to save 10 minutes for a fun art jammy thing at the end. That's what we'll do. Title off with a cool art jam thing so you guys will be like, man, those, those slick entertainment guys are the coolest. That's what you'll say. In your Minnesota mom voice. Boom, boom. Um, and these are shiny because they're so let's pretend Jesse knows what he's doing put some highlights oh no <laughs> one second oh there we go um and da -da -da -da. Jesse do you draw with any other mediums other than digital Hitmanity asks and Hitmanity basically no I draw uh, like I have a sketchbook which I'll draw on in but mostly it's all digital. It's all just stuff. Because you can do so much cool stuff here in digital, man. Like, just the idea of, like, oh, this looks shitty. Let's just do that. Oops. That looks really shitty. Like, just the idea of, like, free transforming, uh, undoing. You know what I mean? All of it. Oh, Fubzo. Our jam skills. Oh, yeah? Pax is a big go-to brony con and meet a bunch of games. What? Does he draw off any of the mediums within digital? Man, the stream makes me want to stream. Well, just can get to it. Nika. Nika to Nika. Right stuff, man. You got to keep it classy, okay? We have, we, 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 we have a security force. Keep it classy. So, uh, let's grab this pipe. Wait, see, look, it looks way better now. Um, I'm just, what I wanted to do with this pipe is basically, wait, I brought something along with me. Oh, a dot. Screw you, Dot. Hmm. This might be a kind of cool thing to bring to the front. I'll need to darken it up. Joey Goddard, how's it going? Uh, that Destructoid head. Hey, Hit Manatee, did you see the Invisible Inks Destructoid, right? Destructoid uh, review? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Those are those clay guys. Our good buddies here in Vancouver. I think that's kind of cool. It's very like kind of like I don't know. I I, I kind of like that. I kind of like this. 
know what? I think, I think I kinda like it. It does definitely th make it feel like there's something above. Hmm, kinda cool. Cool. Turn on a little dude. Let's make him run through the level. Huh? Yep. Feeling good, guys. Feeling really good. All right, all right. Guess you notice your DeviantArt you draws and drawings look almost like they're watercolor, but I can tell it's digital. How do you accomplish that watercolor S style? Indie Chief, can you tell me what piece you're referring to? If it's really, really old, I honestly forget. I honestly forget how I did. Ten out of ten. Nika to Nika. Boom shakalaga. Boom shakalaga. Okay. All right, guys. We got ten minutes left. We got a pretty wicked start on our. Uh, pretty wicked start on our tavern. It's gonna be awesome. I'm excited about this. We're basically, gonna take this and we're gonna like, start building these bigger elements. Oh, it's gonna be. Good. I'm excited about it. It'll be really, really good. Send a link. Spelled the words wrong. Okay. If it's a link to my old DA, if it's an old old image, uh, any chief, it's just a whole bunch of plaster, CG textures that to overlay and put on everything. It's going to be the coolest level. You're right, in fact, to produce. Cool. Now let's save this out, because then... Let's save this out. Save it out. My desktop. We'll call it Tavern Setup. I think this is going to translate not just in the tavern, but kind of any interior we need to make. And what we're going to have to be making, too, is an entrance, which is going to look something along the lines of this. Basically. Horn. So you actually, when you run in, boom. We're going to be in this awesome place. Interior tavern. Oh, it's gonna be exciting. Also, what do you guys think? Actually, yeah, let's 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 ask. See, so in our game, obviously we have the lanes. Let's uh let's let's fire up this bad boy here. So many fish. Eleven out of ten. Right. Roof looks great. Ten out of ten. Oh man, all these all all, <laughs> all these scores coming in. Loving it. So if you look at um, come on, load in, little buddy. Load in, little buddy. You see my shadow moving around? There we go. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. Oh, Kaylee's been changing uh, the characters, which has been cool. He's been, he's been making them all a little bit more personal, which is awesome. Let's open up a chunk here. No, you're falling. Open up. Open up. Uh. Come on. Give me something with a hole. There we go. So check this out. See, I'm going to zoom in. Oh, no, I'm frozen. Oh, the frozen mushroom. No. Okay. You see, like, these holes? Right? We got, like, holes, right? That you can hop across. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, we're thinking. Thinking. Um. Close you down. Put you over here. We're thinking that how cool would it be is if the holes were actually, like, fire pits. Like, it was actually. This is hard to read because it's, like, a, it's taken with a potato. But. Well, Ace the Jackalope. Well, they don't. The Vikings are cool with fish, but the Snowclaw, these are are are, are bears. Snowclaw men, they love fish. See, they wear fish. Look at that. Hello, that fish loves wearing that fish. So we're thinking about putting fire pits there. It might be kind of hard to get across, but gaps are huge. Cat Thulu, you got that thing? Oh yeah, look at that. That's <laughs> that's my drawing. That's my drawing. That that's Cat Thulu. We did that. I guess I guess we could do something fun now. We have, we have 10 minutes left in the stream. Let's 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 throw something for fun. Kevin. He's peering, peering at me. What a goof. Um, let's see. Shield changes hands when he turns. That's right, on Amulus, and we're just dealing with it. Because uh, animating it on both sides, drawing a guy twice is just ridiculous. So yes, it does swap hands. Every all of our guys are ambidextrous, and that's what we're we're going with it. Marcus989. Nine. So cool. Scorble. How's it going, buddy? Scorble. Wood draw again. Mr. Sappy. That's right. Alright, guys. We're gonna we're, we're gonna have some fun now. We're gonna we're gonna draw for the remaining Axfect. I wanna say Axfect. I think that's the name. Welcome to the squad. Thanks so much. We're wrapping up as we uh, made a pretty pretty cool little scene here. Worked on some cool fun rough stuff. Um Yeah, we we, we had a good time today, guys. We got, we got that done. We showed off. Picture of Kevin for his birthday. We did fish. We did the, the stove, the cauldrons, some other stuff. Oh, God, yeah, we got lots. We got some stuff done today. Good, good. Let's um, 
Killstreak Rewards X05. Nothing like that yet. Um, that's still up in the air, like Killstreaks to be cool. Not getting hit, uh, building up a meter of some sort. Yeah. He's adorable. Gonna, you gonna be in love with the bad guys? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You are gonna be in love with the bad guys. They're, uh, these, these, we're gonna be working on these soon. This is zone 3 stuff. They're our, our zombies, our Draugr. They're, they're very, very scary. They, they fight with, like, shovel-themed weapons. This trowel here. And they cause, they cause, uh, they cause, uh, evil dark rituals to him. So yes, let's, um, alright guys, let's, let's, let's wrap it up. We're, 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 we've got five minutes left, so let's, let's draw something for fun. Five minutes left in the stream. Alright, here we go. So what should we draw? What should we draw, guys? I'll, I'm gonna take, like, a, a general, I usually draw something blindfolded. We can draw that. Let's 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 draw blindfolded. Let's draw something blind blindfolded. So give me like an animal or something that's easy to draw. Fire pits into water pits. If they're naked. The, the logic is they they cook them in fire pits. It's like a barbecue. They like the barbecues in the ground. We don't know if it's gonna work. We don't know if it's gonna work. It's like a barbecue. Okay, fuck. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. That's fine. <laughs> gentleman Ardvark. I can do gentleman Ardvark, but I can't. I'm not gonna close my eyes if it's gonna be as complicated as the gentleman Ardvark. Um. Yeah, okay, good. I want to make sure I knew what an aardvark was. And I do. Fine, gentlemen, aardvark. We're going to draw that for, um, who said that? Who said that? Real C. Miller. Hey, Real C. Miller. We're going to draw this, but we're not going to close my eyes this time, because gentlemen, aardvark is a crazy thing to draw. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pistol shrimp. That's pretty cool. Gentlemen, aardvark, guys. Come on, that's not that bad. That's the... And I'll... Is that how you spell it? Bar... I think. Bell it, yeah. <laughs> Aardvark. Aardvark. There we go. Gentlemen Aardvark. What are you doing, guys? That's that's what we do here for the last five minutes of the stream. We did get a lot we, we so this is this is this is helpful stuff. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be really cool, helpful stuff. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff drawn today. Cool. Now let's get this gentleman Aardvark. Um I think I think what Real C. Miller is saying is he wants to see an Aardvark in a top hat and a monitor. Mm -hmm. Okay, knock you back. I think aardvarks just kind of look like this. They kind of just look like big mice, to be honest. I think that's how it looks like? Man, my aardvark skills aren't aren't the hottest, I gotta say. I think that's how it looks. <laughs> and my eyes aren't closed. I usually do these blindfolded, but gentlemen, aardvark's too freaking complicated. Some deep blues in there. That's music, of course, brought to you by Danny Baranowski. We've, we've had a big plethora of music. Hope you guys were okay with it today. We uh, went all around the board. We had Gord, Danny Baranowski, we had Kat Angeloni, MDK even. And I think he has a monocle. I guess the monocle just go behind his ear. I think that's where the, the, cha the chains go. And don't these things have a long tongue, I think? Man. Um, think of what else would a gentleman aardvark have. <laughs> like, I'm not very, I'm not really a gentleman, so I don't really know. I know they like furry. Let's so get at some fur. Mm-hmm. The idea can dig in the fire pits is kind of defeats the purpose of the stove, though. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. Okay. Fair enough, Digi. Fair enough. Yes. Actually, this hat can be a lot bigger. Oh, that's... Oh, I see what you're saying. Just find the stove. Yep, that's right. I'm kind of wondering... Maybe, maybe, like, I guess... We could have him have one of those cool capes. Like, from, like, the 1600s or what. Scorable! Welcome to the squad, Scorable. As we finish up a great stream, guys. We had a really good time today, so thank you very much. It's kind of like a... <laughs> it's kind of like a Batman. I don't, let's fix this cape. <laughs> Give him like a Batman cape. Please draw a Batman cape. There we go. There we go. What a, what a gentleman. He's got the cape. Okay. You're back. 
Congrats. Wiser whiskey. He's so he's, he's pretty suave. I I I should have made him standing, because then he could be holding something. But we kind of have. We kind of have this problem of he's not. He's not um. He's someone dressed up this aardvark. I don't know who it was. There we go. Another track of his album Rise, Mr. MDK. If you like that stuff, go find him. It's easy to find. Um, sorry, let's just clean that up. Clean up that foot. That foot. All right, we did it. We did it, guys. Got the gentleman Ardvark in here, right on time. One in here, dribble. I'll throw some quick colors on it. We'll see Miller. Quick colors for that Ardvark. I'm pretty sure they're brown. Oh no. Hmm. Mm. Put this uh, cape and his hat. Uh, too dark. Too dark. Too dark. There we go. That'll work. And now a little color. This. This color. Yes. Wait. There we go. Cool. Now. And, and, go. Drop some shading on this bad boy. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Guys. And I think their tongues are red, right? So he's so he's this is a gentleman. I think he's just like an aardvark that is that someone dressed up. I think that's still funny though. And I think okay, do aardvarks eat ants? They do, right? Like I'm not crazy. They eat ants, don't they? Aren't they like an ant eater? If they are. Oh damn, you're a fast shader. That's right, hit manatee. <laughs> you gotta be when your your drawing skills are this subpar. All right, let's uh let's let's this is like let's make this a shiny, a shiny, and a hat. Okay, boom boom yes, and um he can be. Actually, okay guys, I know I I, need, I needed to know why this guy was a gentleman aardvark, and the reason is. It's because his table manners are immaculate. He actually uses a fork to eat. That's why he's a gentleman. There we go. Oops. <laughs> there we go. See that? Fruits and bugs. Okay. Fruits and bugs. Good. I'll, I'll, I'll make him eating a bug. Oops. Okay, good. Um, he's eating a bug. Here's a bug here. Some kind of bug. Bug's too big. Alright. Weekend Gaming 4, welcome to the squad. Welcome to the squad, Weekend Gaming 4. Thanks so much for coming by. We're, we're catching the end of the stream where we just draw gentlemen aardvarks, but, you know, appreciate it. Appreciate you stopping by here. And Mellow Rush, welcome to the squad. Thanks so much for joining. For joining us. Appreciate it here. We're crazy about you guys joining our squad. Love it. Love it. 
And, uh... There we go. Guys, there we go. Gentleman Aardvark. Gentleman Aardvark. Eating, eating bugs with a fork, like a true gentleman. Perfect. Perfect. Boom. Oh. Well, we did it, guys. All right. There we go. Yes. Did it. No, I'm not him and Hughes. We're just going to... We, 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 we'll do the... Uh, we're going to call this... Uh, <laughs> freaking amazing. Yep, not bad, right? Okay. Okay, guys. That's going to be it for this week. This is going to be it. So, uh, we, I mean, we did a lot of stuff today. We have some, like... Yeah, we did, we, did, we, did, we did some good stuff. Thanks a lot for being here. Some rough PJ. Cool, what else we got? We had uh, some cool sketches happen. Some cool keg runners. That was kind of fun. Cool. We had bow this bear. This bear. We had this bear we drew. Yeah, guys. I think we did a good job. Okay, so... So... As, uh... This gentleman, Aardvark, clearly states... Thanks so much for coming by. Uh, we really, really, really appreciate it. Coming by the dev stream here. And everybody, thanks so much for coming by. And we'll see you next Wednesday, please... Nick will be back. Kaylee will be back. Well, Kaylee's up in here all the time. That doesn't mean. But we really, really appreciate you guys coming by here and um, checking out what we, what we do here at Slick. We really, really love it. And keep an eye open for Viking Squad. You know, tell tell your pals to drop by. We love seeing more people. So and thank you so much, Chad, for keeping it clean and wonderful and a great place to go. So thanks a lot, guys. Thank you very much, Nicky. Thank you much. Bye, Joy. Thanks for all the help with the power up, guys. Be sure to give them, drop them a line. And Gord McLadry is in the pit for help supplying us with some music. You guys are the best. Catch you next Wednesday. See ya.